I'm going to show you guys how to remove this door panel. It's a 2016 Subaru Outback. Um, it's pretty simple. You don't need much for tools. I've got a small flathead screwdriver. I also have a Phillips head. It's a number two. Um, a lot of people use panel tools, but I prefer just to use my hands. And I'll show you how this is done. First step is there's little trap doors where the screws are located. And they hide the screws, so you got a trap door there. If you can see, there's a little slot in the back. So you insert your flathead screwdriver and then pop it open. And that exposes the Phillips head screw. Now there's another one down here. Same thing, put the screwdriver in the slot. And this one's a little more difficult. Just be careful, take your time. Don't want to break it. Much more difficult. <laughs> There we go. So that pops open, exposing the other Phillips head screw. So once you've got those open, go ahead and take your number two Phillips screwdriver and take the screws loose. Now on the top of this door panel, the door panel itself actually slides into a metal rail that's built into the door. So once you get the bottom loose, then you lift the door panel up and it'll pop out of that slot. Sometimes it actually helps to have the window rolled down when you do that, because it'll give you some more clearance. But on this car, we can go ahead and leave it up, I think. So instead of using the panel tool, I like to use my hands and I'll pull out and then work my way around until I can get the clips to kind of start popping loose. If you see now, I've got kind of a gap. I just gently pull until they start popping out. You just go slowly, you get as close to the clip as you can with your hand so you don't break the door panel. Now this is what this tool is actually for. You slide it in there where the clip's at, between the clip and the door panel, and you pop it out. But I've found that using my hands works just a little bit better most of the time. As long as you're careful, you have to be careful. Just be patient, slowly work them all the way loose. There you go. So we know we've got those all loose. And so we gently lift the panel up. And you're able to pull the panel out a little ways now. Now it's still going to be held on by the, the door handle and then the, the wires. So you've got wires for the light down below. And then you've got the wires for your door switches for your you know, power windows and locks and stuff. So the door handle is pretty easy. It's just got two Phillips head screws. So you take that one out. Other one. And those two screws are located on the bottom of the handle. And then the top just pulls out like that because it, it was just fit in some slots right there. Now there's the courtesy light on the bottom. On it, there's a little tab on the plug. And you press that tab in. can work it loose right here this tab so you push that tab in and then gently pull the plug out like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the other wires up here really these plugged they all have little tabs as well. So I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to depress the little tabs. I'm gonna work them out as well. So 
sometimes these can be tough, so just go ahead and take your time. Oh, that's easy. Once you've got the tab depressed and you know it's loose, it's pretty basic. You just kind of have to go slow and wiggle it loose. There you go, there's the last plug. So there you go, door panel's off. Just gonna lean it up against the car gently so we don't scratch it. Now here you can see the factory speaker and it's pretty easy to remove as well. Since we're replacing these speakers and the new speakers came with the terminal adapters for the aftermarket speakers, we no longer need this plug anymore that came with it. So instead of unplugging it, we're just going to clip them, like that. Yeah. Pull off these four Phillips head screws. Alright, so once you've got the four screws out, you can pull the speaker out. If you notice, there's a tab, so that kind of holds the top. So you can't just pull on the top, because it's going to be stuck. You just slide it down like that, pop it out. And this is the reason why the factory speakers are so horrible, that the magnet's tiny. Which is why we're replacing them with the much bigger magnet and a much bigger and better speaker. This is a kicker. It's a CS series. It's a CS693. But speaker technology changes a lot. So odds are, by the time you watch this video, they'll have newer ones out. Now, if you're looking for speakers, a great resource is crutchfield.com you can put in your specific vehicle and there's a fitment guide that will tell you which speakers will fit your vehicle because you don't want to buy real nice speakers with giant magnets just to find out that your window rolls down and hits the magnet <laughs> so it's very important to utilize the resource crutchfield's right there and they would love to sell you some speakers as well now on this vehicle, even though they're sized for a 6x9, they originally came outfitted with these 6.5s, which are very, very underpowered. But there's plenty of size for a 6x9, and if you'll notice, they don't fit. <laughs> the hole is much bigger than the speaker. So you need these adapter plates. These are made by Metra, and here's the part number here, 82-8146. This is a Metra, and it's actually for a Toyota, but Toyota and Subaru share a lot of their components, so these fit perfectly in this 2016 Outback. So, what I like to do is mount the speaker into the ring first. Now these adapters, the holes don't line up perfectly with these 6x9s. They're slotted so they'll fit different speakers. So you might have to finagle it around a bit before you get it to fit properly. So this part is kind of trial and error. You know, hand start the screws. Try to get everything to line up before you tighten any of them down. Okay, so they're all hand started now. I'm gonna go ahead and push those all the way in.
to do the final torque by hand so I know that they're tight but not too tight you don't want to strip out the plastic holes So there we go, we've got our speaker mounted into our adapter. Now we're going to go ahead and put these wires onto the terminals because it's a lot easier now than later. So we want the wires coming out like this, and shove them through. And we're going to reinstall the speaker into the vehicle. So now we take the butt connectors that came with our speakers and go ahead and connect these wires up. So we're going to go ahead and test it out, make sure it still works. Alright, sounds good. Now, uh, Reinstallation is exactly backwards of how you took it off. Don't forget to plug in your courtesy light and reattach your door handle and your door locks and windows plugs. I hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, don't forget to utilize those resources such as Crush Field because it's, it's a horrible experience to install a speaker, be all excited, and then roll your window down and find out that it hits a speaker.